welcome back to Ride JBI. I'm JB. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the rear shock from the Stark Varg. Again, first we're going to remove the four bolts that hold on the body plastics to the front shrouds. With that, we're going to utilize a Torx number 30. I like to use one on an extension because it's a little bit of a deep reach to the lower bolt. It's not too bad to the top bolt. So with our Torx 30 bit, we're going to start. These are pretty low torque, so it won't take a lot of effort to get these screws out. Have a plastic washer built in with them. Make sure not to utilize those as those do a good job of locating the plastic in place and also make sure the plastic doesn't mushroom out when you torque down the bolt. And now we're going to do the same to the left side of the motorcycle. As you can see, these are now free of our fiber body. Next, we're going to remove the one bolt that's directly underneath the seat that also takes the Torx 30 bit. Our next step now, we're gonna change out to a Torx 45 so that we can remove the subframe bolt on the right side and also the subframe bolt on the other side of the motorcycle. Now for removing the body paneling from the bike, let's take our left hand and we're going to grab these two pieces of plastic holding on to both and our right hand to grab onto the rear fender. We'll kind of pull back and maybe even wiggle a little bit and you'll see the whole assembly work its way off. Really beautiful design, everything fits in quite well. Cool, so that's going to give us a lot of access in room to work on this. I'm gonna set this aside out of the way. So as you can see, we have a KYB rear shock in the back of the bike. It is very similar to the shock that you'd find in the Suzuki RMZ250, which is a very good thing. Um, that shock has some very good stock settings. What I mean by that is not only the Stark, but also the RMZ. And we also know from experience that the shock responds really well to revalves. So whether you're getting this shock out, just to do a service for yourself, change your fork spring or revalve it yourself with one of our DIY kits or have somebody else revalve it for you, um, you'll be very pleased with the performance afterwards. So next we're gonna focus on getting this shock out of the bike. We've got a few more bolts to do that and then we'll be on our way for doing our shock service. Now it's time to remove the rear shock. We're gonna do that by utilizing a 13 millimeter socket and an extension. My tip is to first remove the bottom bolt so that way the swing arm will become free of the shock but the shock will still be held in place by the top bolt. So you can come down here, we see we've got a 13 millimeter nut on this side and that's gonna be the first one that we will remove. Now with my foot underneath the wheel, I'm able to apply some pressure to take pressure off of this bolt. And by kind of wiggling up and down quickly, I can easily push this shock bolt out. Next, we're gonna move our upper shock bolt. We can find the nut right here. Again, that uses another 13 millimeter socket. Now just gently lift up on the shock, kind of wiggle a little bit. That'll help for get out, getting out this top shock nut or bolt. Cool. Now let's lift up on these lower subframe spars and kind of spread them. And then we're gonna rotate this up a little bit. Now that's, that will allow us to get the shock out now, as you see, we're applying very little pressure to the cabling, sorry, the electrical wires that we have here and our coolant hoses. We're not putting a lot of pressure on it. So please be aware of that as you work on this. If you push too much, you can easily damage this. While we work on it, I'm actually going to kind of clip this back into position 
So that way we're not stressing any of these components as it is in a semi, sorry, semi assembled state. And that is how you remove the shock from your Stark Varg.